Hi, Ben Forte here from Adobe's Platform Evangelism team. And I want to talk to you about a really important new feature in Cold Fusion 9. Now, like it or not, one of the most important tools used by businesses and organizations all over are spreadsheets. Uh, they're kind of a, a fact of life for many of us for working with data and analyzing data and crunching data and so on. And you know, being that Cold Fusion applications tend to be very business centric, very data centric, the ability to work with spreadsheets and manipulate spreadsheets programmatically um, has been a, a, a long request for, for, for from the Cold Fusion team um, as an enhancement and a core feature in Cold Fusion. Now there are ways to do basic things with spreadsheets already. You know, in Cold Fusion, there's a CF report tag that can generate reports in spreadsheet formats using a CFR file, uh, but that's not real low-level spreadsheet manipulation. That's you know a, a, a generating a report. Uh, you can also manually generate CSV content and set the MIME type and force the browser to display the content in a spreadsheet. Uh, but that isn't, also isn't actual spreadsheet manipulation. Uh, what we've done in Cold Fusion 9 is give you the ability to read, write, create, and actually manipulate everything you need about business spreadsheets in, in the popular spreadsheet formats. Let me show you an example. So over here, I've got a really simple um, spreadsheet. I'm actually going to open it up right of inside a Cold Fusion Builder. And you'll notice that it popped up in Excel automatically. And um, you'll see it's um, some sales numbers uh, divided by region and quarters and so on. Let me quit that spreadsheet. And let me run this code over here. First, we'll look at what the code does, and then we'll, we'll uh, look at the code itself. So here, the code has dumped out two, two dumps. The first one is a dump of the entire spreadsheet, and I've got my um, rows and columns. And the second one is displaying a specific row for the spreadsheet. Now, how do we get this information? Well, here's the code for it. It's very simple. CF spreadsheet is a new tag in Cold Fusion 9. Action equals read, specify the spreadsheet, and query. And you get back an entire query which is being dumped. This first example here reads the entire spreadsheet into a query and turns it into a query automatically that you can use in Cold Fusion like any other query. The separate, second example is a little more complex. Here we're reading a specific row and column, a specific cell on a specific sheet. CF spreadsheet, action equals read, giving it a variable, sheet, row, column, and dumping the variable. That simple. All right, so you now have access to all the data inside spreadsheets, and you can get specific columns, rows, sheets, anything you'd want. What about writing data? So let's look at that spreadsheet again. And that last value in the last column uh, doesn't look very real. So let's update uh, the West region for Q4. Let's quit the spreadsheet. And I'm going to go into a, another little app over here. And I'm going to tell it to set the West region Q4 to Oh, let's make it 50,000 and hit Save. And it updates. Now let's go to take a look at that spreadsheet again. And we'll see that the data has now been correctly updated. All right, so Cold Fusion can not just read spreadsheets, but can write them as well. Now, how did it do that? Here's the code. Most of the code is just the form, right? The, here's the bottom over here. This is the form just prompting for the values, at which region and, and the, uh, the new value. But look at the code over here. CF spreadsheet action equals read. It's reading the spreadsheet into an object. This object over here is now a spreadsheet object in memory that you could use and manipulate. And we are, in the next line of code, spreadsheet set cell value object, the value, row column, and then when done, writing it back. And that's it. That's all it took to be able to update a cell in a spreadsheet. Really simple. Now, obviously, these are external files, and so you've got to worry about two people using the same file at the same time and locking access. That's going to be your responsibility. But the ability to read and write um, spreadsheet information is really useful, really important. But let's take a step further. Let's actually build a brand new spreadsheet from scratch and do some pretty sophisticated things with it, um, formatting, formulas, and more. So to do that, let's create a new file. And I'll call this create. And to save time over here, I'm going to use a feature called snippets that has some pre-written code for me um, so we can do this quickly. Right, we're going to start with a really simple query. Right? This query is just getting data, getting uh, four columns out of a database table, and then well, the next line of code will be CF spreadsheet action equals write query equals. And because I'm passing it a full query, automatically Call Fusion will know to take the entire query and generate a spreadsheet. So let's run this. And the code ran. Let's refresh to find our spreadsheet. And here's the new order spreadsheet it created. And bring it up. And we'll see that it actually has all of those. It has the columns and all the value created in the spreadsheet from scratch. Right? So because you passed it, we passed it a query in there, it created the entire spreadsheet from the query. Now what if you want to have more control? 
right? What if we wanted to have a header with bolds and we wanted to apply formatting on the row that has all the numbers and make them look like currencies and put a formula at the bottom? Well, that requires a little more work. And then instead of having Cold Fusion automatically generate the spreadsheet, we want to create a brand new spreadsheet object, manipulate it, and save it when done. Very easy to do. So here's the code that generates the new spreadsheet, right? Spreadsheet new function returns an empty object. And there are attributes you can specify there to tell it the kind of spreadsheet you want, what version, what, what uh, compatibility. We'll just use defaults. Then comes the header. So here, we've explicitly in a set a row, spreadsheet add row. And I've given it the text for those rows. And then I'm applying formatting. Now, spreadsheet format row, and there's also a format cell, format column. Um, takes a structure of the, thing, the formats you want to apply. And here I'm specifying bold is true and alignment is center. There are formatting options for how numbers should be masked, for colors, for fonts, for backgrounds, all sorts of options in there. And you basically build a structure and pass it to this function. Here the structure is implicit in line. It could be an external structure too. And then the next thing we're going to do is put in the actual rows of data. And here we're doing a spreadsheet add rows and passing it a query. And automatically, this will get inserted to the next available row, which in our example will be the second row, because the first one has the header. Right? Now, you could, given it a specific row, you could have told it what row to start at. But again, we're taking defaults. Uh, before we go any further, let's put a save in there and actually run the code, make sure this is working so far. Run. And it seemed to run. Let's open the spreadsheet, make sure it's working. And here's the spreadsheet. And you'll see that I've got the first row nice and bold. And there are all the values in it. So, so far, so good. Let's put a little more code in here now. The next thing we want to do is put in a, a uh, formula so that automatically it calculates the total of all of the orders in the spreadsheet. So for that, um, we're going to add um, additional rows there. Now, here's where it gets interesting, right? So you've seen already how to set a specific cell. We can say at, at you know, D24, put a value in there. You could have a formula as well. The problem here, though, is we don't know what row to put it on. We don't want to hard code the row. I want it automatically two rows, leaving one blank, two rows after where the data finishes. And if there are five rows, you want it at row seven. If there are 1,000, you want it way further down. So we need to do a little bit of inline calculation to figure out where it goes. So look at this code over here. Um, four CF set statements. The first one specifying the start row. The end row is using the record count plus one. We're going to put the total on end row plus two. And then comes the formula. Now, formulas follow the regular format in spreadsheets, right? So we'd want something like sum D2 to D24. The problem is we don't know what the range is. We know it starts at 2. We don't know where it ends because we don't know how much data is being retrieved. And so here, the formula is being constructed using Cold Fusion expressions, using those variables um, set before. Now, in our example, it will actually be uh, row 2 to 24. So the formula will be sum D2 colon D24, which is the formula we want. Next thing we need to do is actually put that formula into the spreadsheet. So here we go. Spreadsheet set cell value total. Spreadsheet set cell formula. So you've seen set cell value. Here we're setting a formula. The object, the formula, the row, the column. And that formula we put in there automatically and updated as the spreadsheet updates. Now, the last thing I want to do before we save this is apply some formatting. Because now the entire fourth column are numbers. They're, they're values, right? They're order totals. And they're by default going to be simple numbers. We want them formatted as currencies. And so I'm going to put one last bit of code in there. And this is spreadsheet format column. And again, it takes a, the same formatting structure you saw before. But this, this time, we're using a data format. And we've got a currency format in there. And we can save it. And we can run the app. When we run, off it goes. It builds the spreadsheet. And we can open the spreadsheet now. Make sure it worked properly. And here is the data, top line bold, currency information, all the numbers presented as, as currencies with a total. There's the formula formatted properly, and you've got full access to underlying spreadsheets. And this is just the beginnings of what, what these functions do. Between the CF spreadsheet tag and over 30 supporting functions, you can embed images, you can freeze panes, you can do a whole lot more as well. And considering how important spreadsheets are to business applications, this is an invaluable addition to the Cold Fusion Library of Functions. Uh, you'll find a whole lot more information about Cold Fusion 9 on the Cold Fusion Developer Center on Adobe Developer Connection. Thank you.